So the first career mistake you need to avoid, you must avoid, is not having a plan. Or not taking the time to plan. <laughs> I know it's boring. You gotta do it. Right? Let me tell you how I directed my career in the beginning. So I went to a bunch of interviews, I got a job, and I just showed up every day, hoping for the best. I believed things would improve progressively. I believed I would just show up every day at work, my skills would improve because I'm working every day. I thought I would become more productive just by showing up, you know, and it should, right? If you show up every day at work and you do your work well, you should become faster, you should become better, you should become more productive, you should learn better skills as a programmer. And I thought I would get raises and grow as a professional. Just at work. <laughs> but now I call that hope-driven development. Because I had no plan. I was only hoping for the best. <laughs> right. So I had no vision. That's a misconception. That's a mistake thinking that things will improve on their own. They won't. So what happened to me? I was getting random results. <laughs> Completely random results. For example, I would get a raise if my boss decided to give me a raise. Make sense? Exactly. So there was no goal there. There was no concrete number that you were after so any number was good probably exactly there was no plan there was no vision like what is the next step in my career when i'm due right. to a new uh, to a promotion what do i need to know to get a promotion what kind of skills do i need to build and so on you know so if you don't have this plan things will not improve things don't improve on their own <laughs> let me let me say that not only they will not improve there's a good chance they're gonna become worse you know as we as we grow old so yeah this is something that you need absolutely to look into 